Um, so the first one is the Druid Craft Tarot. Using the magic, use the magic of Wicca and Druidry to guide your life. Um, this is by Philip and Stephanie Cargom. The deck is illustrated by Will Worthington, and I got the deck because I like the artwork. I forgot to pull my copy out, so I don't have it here in front of me. Um, but the original uh, few indie printings of this came in a huge box, and it had this big, thick guidebook with it. Um, now, you can get the full text of this guidebook as a uh, smartphone app um, from The Fool's Dog. They have a number of different tarot uh, apps that for, for different decks. And so um, if you want to see the full text of this, I think the app is only like $4 or something. So uh, it's a lot less expensive than buying the deck with the booklet. You can now also buy a smaller package that just has a thinner booklet with a few keywords and not, not this full text. So if I flip through here quickly, you can see, you know, this is quite a bit of text. Um, there's all kinds of uh, overlays and descriptions and there's keywords and reversals and um, tons of spreads and stuff in the back. The spreads are kind of interesting. Um, I will say in general, I am not a druid. <laughs> um, and if I was going to be a druid, I wouldn't be this kind of druid. This is like revival druid is druidry from it feels like it's from the 80s and 90s or something i they may have started earlier and, and they're still going today um i have friends who are in the order um so not to disparage it but it's just it feels very dated it's super gendered um which to me wicca is like overly gendered i find it to be problematic in that way because they they use all these masculine and feminine associations all the time and i understand that it's a metaphor and they're just trying to convey ideas but it's very clunky and outdated so that's my main beef with this um the rest of it is sort of like eh, it's it's floral and it's nice sounding and it doesn't really apply to me because again it's druidry i'm not a druid i'm not following this philosophy or religion or whatever you call it um, if you are a druid this might be quite appealing to you because it really ties in with all the core concepts and, and the core teachings of that um, philosophy. And and so there you go. Um, I think it can't hurt to read things like this. Like if you already own a copy of this book, have a flick through and read it. I've, I've read, um, I, I did not read this cover to cover because I kind of got bored, I'll be all admit. Um, but I did read, you know, sizable chunks of it. And, um, you know, it's RWS based in, in, principle and so it does reflect that to some degree. I do like what they've done with the artwork in that they've gotten away from some of the more difficult cards in the RWS, um, like some of the swords cards and the four of pentacles for example. It's just a little gentler and a little more um, open. So I like that about this approach. Um, it's not a terrible book. It's not horribly problematic or anything but I would just say it was not my cup of tea. Um, and I think the keywords are a little a little odd sometimes. Um, I do like the way this book is organized. So they actually start with the court cards, <laughs> then they go into the pip cards and they describe, um, for example, all the one, all the aces together, all the twos together, all the threes together. So I like that method of organizing and approaching the tarot. I think that's good. And I appreciate that they spend a lot of time on the minor cards, um, whereas a lot of books spend pages and pages and pages on the major, majors, and then you get like three keywords per minor or something, even though there's, you know, there's 22 majors and the rest of the deck is minor arcana. And in some ways, I almost feel like they're more important because they're more of the deck, and yet they get less... Uh, less attention, less sort of uh, explanation. So um, so for the threes, for example, we have creative, re creativity, expression, synthesis, and fulfillment. Um, I think fulfillment seems a little bit uh, early in the order of the one through 10 to be on a three, you know? So I had m minor quibbles with some of their choices, um, but but I do like the organization of this, and I like some of the descriptions uh, quite a bit. Um, 
and and sort of you can pull out little like oh that's an interesting observation or that's a neat little tidbit or I hadn't thought of that before so it's not a total waste of time um i guess is what i'm getting at would i recommend it to somebody mm, i don't know if they're if they're interested in druidy and wicca then sure um but again not really my cup of tea so that is the druid craft again always interested in your opinions if you read this or you have the deck or thinking about it let me know Robin says, oh, those clunky druids. You know, I, to credit, like, modern-day druidry, I think a lot of people are updating their worldview and their, their um, approaches to how they describe things. Um, it's just this book has not been updated. So, there you go.